Good evening, fishing folks. This is Captain Mark Johnson, a.k.a. Hollywood, and we are here with the boys from Salt Strong down here in Ala Mirada here, and we're going to show on how to rig up for drifting for tarpon in the evening here in our local area. We have the Channel 5 bridge right here to our south, and we have the Channel 2 bridge over here to our north. And this time of year, drifting a live blue crab is a very popular way to catch them. And uh, just wanted to go over quick tips on how we rig up our leaders, our hooks, our tackle and to show our insider followers how to set this up yourself. It'll work on both coasts of Florida. You can catch your own tarpon on a crab, spinning rod, leader, hook, float. Not that difficult. Anybody can do it as long as you do it right. Okay, so for starters, traditionally we fish a spinning rod when we're drifting crabs so that you have the availability to also cast them if sometimes you see some fish floating around out here or if you don't have a very strong drift it can allow you to get some separation from the boat. Alright so here is Captain Hollywood's favorite outfit it's a Daiwa BG 4500 we're fishing 30 pound J braid we're on a Daiwa Saltiga spinning rod 7 foot standard issue and with the braid, when we set up our rig, we like to always tie a double line. You see a nice bimini twist here. It's probably, this one's a little in the short, about two and a half feet long. And when we rig, we try to use as little hardware as possible. So when you're fishing braid, you can get away without having a swivel. And so we get a real nice no-name knot here that we tied to our 60-pound fluoro. And we got about eight feet of floral that we go. And because we're in the summertime and the weather's nice and the water's clear, the lightest we fish out here for a liter is 60. Whereas earlier in the spring, we'll sometimes fish 80 or 100, especially with the live mullet. But today is about the crab. So 60 pound it is. Big fan of the circle hook for everything we do. Owner hooks are preferred ones. So one of the most important parts of this is to make sure that you match the hook to the size crab and the bait you use. Uh, here in the blue crab day, five lots are number, and that's the inline circle hook we like. All right, we got our AFCO leader, 60, 40, 50, whatever you're comfortable using here because we deal with so many big fish, 60 is our number. Set yourself up here, you got eight feet a liter, got your hook. You got a float with a pin stick in the top so you can adjust your drift. We like to do about six feet from bait to cork. Okay, gives you good separation. You like to use a float because we're going to be fishing here and watching sunset. And when it gets closer to dark, you always want to know where your baits are so they don't get tangled. Another advantage too, if you have a slow drift, and because the water's shallow out here, if your crab gets too close to the bottom, he can get hung up in the bottom, he can get bit by a blowfish or by a bonnethead shark, certain things. You want to have your float to tell you where your bait is. Okay? All right, so recap. Inline circle hook from owner, 8 feet a liter, 60 pound fluoro, pretty simple pin stick float, spinning rod, 30 pound braid, now we're ready for the live crab. So we get into the well and we pull out our live crab. Get over here, crabby. So this is a blue crab. We buy them at our local tackle shops. Okay, they're a commodity, so we buy as many as we can when they come in. And when we shop for the crab, they come in all different sizes, but somewhere in the three inch zone across the back of the carapace, okay, is what we're after. And we like to try to get them as healthy as possible. You want to make sure they have all their legs. You want to make sure they have their swimmers. And yes, this is a female crab. In the perfect world, you'd want to get all male crab, just because sometimes they're a little more durable out here, but sometimes you can't always get them, so you got to roll with what you get. All right, so here we go. The blue crab, make sure you got all your legs, your swimmers. The healthier he is, the longer he lasts. Now, hooking the crab. There's a lot of ways people do it. Most of them are wrong. The best way to hook this crab is from the bottom through the top. Owner hooks are razor sharp. You start in here and you give it a little, little push just to get the, through the shell. And you want to be careful not to force it because you can crack and break it just like that did. You see that? So we're going to change here to the other side. Sometimes these shells are in between the molts. Different things going on, they will break. So you're real gentle. Get that all the way through here. All right. That one broke too. Yeah, this crab's a little bit on the soft side. So you got to move it up a little bit and get that in there. And if not, we'll get his brother out. 
There we go. In through the side, up through the top, clean the barb point of your hook, make sure you're good to go. That's how your crab's going to drift. You always pull him from the side, you're never going to hook him in the back and the top. You want him to swim out here and be as natural as possible. Okay, fish folks, here we go. Live blue crab, circle hook, piece of leader, float. We might get a sunset here in between thunder showers. We're ready to get started on the drift. This is Captain Mark Johnson, a.k.a. Hollywood. You can find us on saltstrong.com, floridakeysfunfishing.com, or if you drive down to the Keys and come to Angler House Marina, you can find us here as well. All right, wish us luck. There's something about the water that'll give you peace All by yourself or with your family Live salt strong and wet along